Hi folks, so this is a quick tutorial on how to calculate distances between locations in Excel. Before we get started, a couple things to touch on. Uh, so this method really looks at zip codes between different locations. Um, in addition, this is just the direct distance between two points um, on, on a map. So if you want something like driving directions or um, say you want to look at something more granular than zip codes, this isn't necessarily the method for that. Um, that would require something like a Google Maps API, which is quite more complicated. Uh, but if you simply just want to calculate distances between zip codes, um, this is the video for you. And what I've gone ahead and done is I put together a, a template um, here, and I'll include this template in the video description so you can, you can download it and um, you know modify it as you see fit. Um, and what I'll go ahead and do here is actually walk through the template and make sure you folks understand how it works so that uh, you can modify it to your needs. So in this example here, I have a bunch of customer zip codes, as you can see right here. Um, and then what I wanna do is I wanna compare this, the, the, the zip code um, and see how far away my customers are from two different stores. Um, so really what we're, what, what we're gonna be doing is doing a quick calculation between the distance here, and then we'll, we'll be doing a second calculation from this person, from this customer, to also our second store. And that's what you see over here on the right side. So this is in miles, the distance between um, the customer and the first store. And then over here is the distance between, again, the customer and now the second store. So how this works is we put in um, the list of zip codes we're interested in. And then the formulas in B and C pull in the latitude and longitude um, for that zip code. And if you notice here on this Google, or excuse me, on this Excel sheet, um, you have all these coordinates. And this actually has coordinates for every single zip code in the United States. So it'll go ahead, the formula will match whatever zip code we have here um, and pull in the latitude and longitude. And we'll do that automatically. As you can see here, I'll put in a new zip code and that, that auto updates. So once we have that, um, then of course we would do a similar thing for our second zip code that we want to compare to. Um, so in this case, again, we have uh, a zip code that's entered here. The formula will auto pull in the longitude and latitude for this zip code. And then finally, uh, the part, the secret sauce, um, if we go here into J, this is the formula that's actually calculating using trigonometry, the distance between um, you know, this point in space with this point in space. So if you actually take a look at it, it's referencing all these longitudes and latitudes here, um, and then giving us the result in miles. Um, one thing to, to, to note, say you want to have this in kilometers as opposed to miles, um, all you would need to do is just update this number right here. Uh, so what you're seeing right here, this 3958.8, that is the radius of the Earth in miles. If you want to make that kilometers, just simply do a quick Google search. You'll f you can search for the radius of the Earth in kilometers, put that in there, and then the formula will be calculating it in terms of kilometers. So um, I hope this video was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.